Well, hey there, team, and welcome back to the channel, and welcome to Pathway. So this is an indie game that fell by the wayside that I missed out on in the past, so we're revisiting it today. Well, I guess re revisiting it, visiting it for a first time on the channel. It says here I've played it. I played it for all of five minutes, long enough to know that this was going on the list of things to play. This game, it seems really, really cool, really interesting. It's got a sort of roguelike adventure with a turn-based pixel, uh, pixel graphics sort of gameplay as well. It channels Indiana Jones and all that sort of high pulp adventure so much, which is something very close and dear to my heart. If you dig way back all my videos, the Scarlet Seeker is mired in bloody pulp action that's sort of my inspiration for the character i suppose to give you a peek behind the curtain and that'll revisit one day but for the moment we're just going to play this so this is exciting i'm just going to go new adventure i suppose all items and progress will be lost are you sure sure yeah but i think maybe oh cash 500 i'm the i think there's meta progression though so let's see how we go. Oh, this this font is going to kill me. A friend in need. What's this back here? Okay, no, this is the first mission for sure. Casablanca, Morocco. You receive a desperate plea for help. Your old friend Morton has been abducted by the Nazis and taken to the Moroccan desert. Uh, you decide to travel to North Africa immediately to find Morton before the Germans execute him. All right, so it's not very hard. I guess we could, what's this, combat size? Resource supply, difficulty. No, no, no. Let's just get some defaults. And then you assemble your team here, basically. Now, I'm not sure how many of these are the defaults. Again, I've only played the first mission a little bit. Um, but uh, you make your party out of them. So here's your. this is your sort of cookie cutter hero. So I guess let's get let's recruit him. How do we do that? Oh, there's a tick box. Recruit. Reset skill tree. Oh. Danger and hardship, bring it on. And who have we got here? Natalia. Uh, Omar Baron. <laughs> Baron von B, a German gentleman imposter. Very cool. Captain Louis Piranha Pereira. Brazilian steamboat smuggler. Oh man, it's got all the perfect characters. We need to get him, for sure. Like, absolutely. Recruit, done. Hey, I will drink to that. And we need the love interest for sure. That, that you know, always exciting, excited for another adventure. But they have specific skills and they do certain things as well, um, which I don't know anything about. So I guess we'll just figure that out as we go. Um, depart. Right? Depart? Cool. Hovering over a location on the exploration map will reveal some basic info about that location. Yeah, so this isn't a game I'm well uh, versed in, but it seems pretty awesome. In a provincial backwater a few miles beyond Casablanca. This is the last outpost of civilization. Beyond this point is nothing but merciless desert. Right. Morton is out there. Somewhere. Somewhere. Let's do it. Right, so you burn along in a jeep and you have, uh, like, fuel, I believe? You can check your gear one last time and start the engine. Your journey begins. Okay, cool. Done. Um, so that's where we are. Somewhere in Morocco. I guess we set out. Unvisited location. All right, let's go this way. Burn along in me little jeep. Ah! An old watering hole. Oh, what is this? Are they little spiders? At the edge of a dried up watering hole, you find the remains of a soldier clutching a bulky bundle. As you approach, you notice strange movement under the soldier's uniform. Several hairy fist-sized spiders crawl out slowly. Horrified, you step back. Uh, search the bundle, which is a gamble. This choice may yield a positive or negative outcome. Oh, here we go. Survivalist. So this is, someone in my party has imparted that skill. Can I check my party? Daredevil, survivalist. Yeah, okay, cool. He's got a lot of perks. Ah, okay. He doesn't have many, but like I said, he's your sort of cookie cutter starter, dude. We'll get used to it. Um, oh, okay. Stop and think. This option uses a character perk. It generally yields a positive outcome, but in some instances may result in unexpected situations. So, okay, so this is probably the smart move. 
Unless you want to avoid drama altogether. Oh, and it's actually the dude with that skill that does it. So cool. Perira thinks for a moment, then he starts to dig under one of the palm trees. Eventually, he pulls out a strange root, which he rubs all over his hands and forearms. An acrid smell fills your nostrils. While Perira returns to the corpse, the spiders recoil and scuttle away. Uh, tarantulas hate this smell. Oh, well, well done, big fella. Arachnophobia. They are probably nesting inside the body. Reward XP. Okay, cool. So we've got our Jeep storage. And here's the crap that we found. Oh, we'll definitely take the, the gas. Wait, what's this? A grenade, supplies, an iron cross which we can sell for value. Yes, take all items. Wonderful. Oh, okay, and it auto it auto dealt with the uh, the survival and fuel, which we will have here. Here we go. Fuel, ammo, supplies. I gotta wonder if um. There we go. We've got the grenade in storage too. But I don't know... I don't know if you can equip it so much. That's alright. We're still figuring it out as we go, right? So, that's a, you know, this is sort of n normal fare. For a roguelike. Fuel time's 15. Did it... Max fuel is 25. Okay. Oh, cool. Look at this. A desert temple. The ancient building in front of you has taken some rough treatment. Decorative elements have been thrown carelessly to the floor. The door has been forced open. Could the perpetrators still be inside the temple? A short time later, you sneak up on a squad of soldiers. They remain oblivious to your approach, as they are tapping on the walls of the temple's main hall. So we can ambush them or leave this place. Let's ambush them. Get a taste for combat, eh? Pistols have the special ability double shot. Okay. Planning advantage. Can I see the uh, the map at all? I can. So they've got two dogs and two dudes. All right, so I can put them in behind cover. Um, what if we do like that? Oh my goodness. So they, I think there's a tutorial, but I've accidentally sort of skipped it. Um, I don't know if they're actually aware of my presence just yet. We're going to find out. Knife attack. Okay. Low profile. Requires two bravery. Character will receive a guaranteed evade on the next attack. Oh, okay. Enemy turn. Oh, they can see me. Oh, bloody dog bit me. Uh-oh. I've made a mistake, and this is how Indiana Jones dies. Oh, I think, okay, so you can choose who to move independently sort of thing. Ah. Enemies within a straight connected line. No. Bleed. Knife attack. Oh, it won't be enough to kill it. Requires two bravery. Oh, dude, you need to run away. <laughs> That's what you need to do, <laughs> is run. All right, so maybe. Oh, okay, yeah. So I've made a mistake. You can you can move with all of them, basically. Ranged attack. Or burst fire. Oh, oh, okay. Oh, it's like a sweeping burst. Ah, too bad. Let's do that. Yeah, get shot, puppy. Okay, yeah, okay, cool, cool, cool. Now, she can bandage, heal. What can he do? Oh, he's got a knife as well. Ah. 28 out of 50. We should probably heal him, right? Oh, this music's so good. Uh, use medkit. Bait. Throw a bait that attracts dogs and zombies in the affected area for one turn. Oh, okay. 
Each mid use of mid kit reduces the supply by one. Okay. And then the compression bandage, which seems like it's a limited use thing. Huh. Oh, you know what? Maybe that counts as the bandage. Yeah, okay, and it went down by one. I wonder if it refreshes after combat. Combat uses times two. I see. So it's not that she has times two forever, it's just in this particular instance. Very good. Man, all right, I'm getting the hang of this. I'm definitely getting the hang of this. What's this? Cleave. Oh, wow. Shotgun blast. Oh, he can't overwatch, can he? Hunker down. Requires bravery. No, no, that's fine. Here come the goons. <laughs> it's bit him again. Oh, that's like armor. I see. Yeah, get get obliterated, puppy. All right, shotgun man. What? Can't see them. No good. Alright. No, no! I ended everyone's turn. God damn. That's a little bit unwieldy, isn't it? Lucky they missed. Jesus. Holy heck. You boys deserve to get shot up after that. Oh, no good. All right, we can we can close up. Nice. Armor. Enemy armor reduces their damage. Each hit reduces the armor protection. Yeah. Okay. Click anywhere. No, that's fine. What she got? A, a little little pistol. Two different targets in rapid succession. I think we'll just be... Oh, look at that. Good shot. Oh, he's reloading. Oh, no. I laugh at your... your shooting. Silly men. These land lovers can't handle anything. Right? Oh, he must be out of ammo or something. He is, he's out of ammo. Oh, let's get in up let's get amongst it. Get jabbed, mate. Reload all weapons? Yes. Okay, yeah, so we have ammo as a statistic as well. Once you're engaged in battle, okay. Oh, more grenades, supplies, fuel. Yeah, but I think the skill required a grenade. Who has that skill? No one. No one has that skill. Okay, that's fine. Onward! Blah, 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 blah. Somewhere in the desert, the men in the hut do not look like ordinary merchants. Nomad says, we could give you some ammunition if you can pay for it. Um, how much cash we have? 500? And how much ammo have we got? How much ammo can you have? 90? No, no, we're okay. We've got lots of ammo. Thank you. What's this over here? It's like a bag. Might be a shop or something. You reach the outer buildings of a settlement, of a small settlement. A surprise awaits you at the center of the village. It's a brand new Jeep. Ooh, an ill-tempered looking man stands beside the vehicle. Oh, wow. 
Angry man, I gave a dozen good camels for this worthless heap of junk. Shame be on my head. Something is wrong with the Jeep. Perhaps this is an opportunity for you. So we could buy gasoline or we could continue on the journey. Um, how are we going for fuel? 15 out of 25? Oh yeah, all right, let's have a look. You soon reach an agreement. The man sells you all his gas at a reasonable price. Oh, okay. Right click on the bag with your valuables to sell. Okay. Oh, shit. Hang on. What's going on here? Is this the stuff that this dude's selling me? Oh. Um, okay. Uh, I just wanted to buy the fuel. Shit, it's 125 per fuel? Oh, no. No, we don't want that at all. Oh, but I'll, I can sell you these grenades. How do you feel about that? Hey, that's a bit better. That's a bit better. Alright, so what have we got here? Assault rifle and sniper. Well, I can't afford either. Medium ammo box. So, ammo 58. Oh, yeah, okay. That was pretty good. Supplies. How many supplies we got? Ten. Okay, that is... Oh, okay. Okay, I'm, I get it. I get it. That's fine. That's enough. You have unsold valuables in your Jeep storage. Are you sure you'd like to continue without selling them? Cancel? What are you talking about? That's a load of baloney. I've sold everything. Confirm. Okay. Um, let's keep driving. A saffron field. As you pass through the outer buildings of the nondescript settlement, you stop in astonishment. The sheltered valley basin ahead of you is carpeted with purple flowers. The heavy floral scent confirms your first guess. This must be a saffron plantation. The villagers kneel beside fragrant baskets. The harvest is in full swing. Oh, nice. Just a bit of flavor, you know? Nothing wrong with that. Oh, I think that's our destination over there. Somewhere in the desert, vultures circle in the sky up ahead of you. You know what that means in the desert and decide to investigate. After a few hundred yards, you come across the remains of a small squad of German soldiers between two dunes. The men have been dead for several days, seemingly dying of thirst. But as you start to search their bodies, to your astonishment, one of them moans in agony. Oh, poor bugger. I can give him first aid. Absolutely, I will. But with my Sheila. Very good. Natalia quickly improvises some cold compressors for the man and gently gives him some water. The soldier soon regains consciousness. The dying soldier says, Engine failure. The captain ordered us to stay. Had to take our fate into our own hands. Too late. With these words, the man rears up one final time, then his laboured breathing ends. The dead man's finger points to a rock formation that rises from the monotonous desert landscape a few miles away. You're confused. Do you want to investigate the rock formation or continue on your journey? Oh, we're investigating. We're absolutely investigating. What an interesting journey. Among some rocks, you come across the lifeless body of a Wehrmacht officer. The man lies in his stomach, on his stomach in the sand around him is tinged brown. Oh, wow. Look at this. That's pretty quite, quite graphic. Soldier says, Captain von Bordermark left us no choice. I had to put him down like a mad dog. Oh, dear. You turn to see a German soldier leaning against the rocks in the shadows. His uniform is covered in blood. Unfortunately, Bordermark did not go without a fight. Leg wound. I'm afraid it's infected. <coughs> Excuse me. The man shrugs as if an apology. Then he continues, his face distorted with pain. I did not do it for myself. My journey ends here. With a little luck, at least my comrades managed to escape. Do you have any water for me? Hesitantly, you give the man some water. He continues in a broken voice, but this time his words are incoherent and delirious. North Africa, secret operation, excavations in the desert worldwide. Dr. Poliakowski said, Stalin's excavations, incredible artifacts. 
In the Russian Arctic Ocean, great deeds, Atlantis will rise again from the waves and we shall be gods, Valkyrium. Valkyrium shall rule the world of tomorrow. I always find the 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 German uh, World War II occult plot thread interesting to say the least. Breathing heavily, the man pauses. For a second, he appears to return to consciousness. And finally, he gives a tortured laugh. Blood gushes from his nose. Jesus, this is very graphic. Um, gods of a distant past, and here I die in the heat of the sun. Like Icarus who plunged to his ruin through his arrogance. Tell Magda I have always loved her. Okay, man. With these final words, the man dies. You search him, his papers identify him as a young lieutenant in counterintelligence. What could his fevered rants be mean? You bury his body in a makeshift grave and leave with the dead man's words ringing in your ears. Hmm, how haunting. Oh, we got XP up, that's cool. See, all right, now I've got a skill tree. Oh. Locked. Okay. Close. Uh. Oh, she's an engineer as well. What a hard woman. Okay. Uh, we need to get down there. What do we reckon? Let's go this way. I think we're doing all right so far. A desert airfield. As you peer over the dune ridge, you can barely believe your eyes. The Germans have built an improvised airfield here in the endless desert. Shouted commands and the rumble of engines echo as you crouch behind your dune to discuss your options. Ambush or retreat? Oh, that's an interesting one. Maybe we retreat from this one. Because we're close to where we need to go, right? I think. Can sort of stay out of trouble. Oh, she's leveled up. Interesting. I have to. Oh, look at this. Somewhere in the desert. As you take a short break at the edge of the track, a strange humming sound fills the air. You decide to get to the bottom of the matter and follow the sound as it grows increasingly intense. As you climb a dune ridge, you feel as if every fibre of your being is vibrating in resonance with the humming. Oh dear. From the crest of the dune, you see a deep depression in the sand. At its centre is a huge pitch black monolith among some strange rock formations. The humming seems to emanate from the strange object. You soon reach the floor of the monolith, once, or the foot of the monolith, apologies. Once there, you experience almost total silence, but the air feels like it is electrified. Oh, activate the monolith with engineer. Yeah, let's do that. Search the area. So sixth sense is what we were missing here. That's cool that it tells you. Ah, maybe it will help with our party in the future. So she's just going to bloody turn it on, is she? Oh, geez. Where'd she go? <laughs> oh, wow. Oh, it's the Ark of the Covenant. <laughs> this is so close to Indiana Jones. And I don't mind it at all because I haven't really seen any games... Um, at least in recent history, pay so much homage to that, to especially Raiders, because this is very Raiders. Natalia prods excitedly at the strange structure, muttering excitedly under her breath. Suddenly you find yourself in an unknown place. The disembodied voice rings out, ghostly voice, who dares disturb the peace of this place. Step closer. If you are worthy, but know that the unworthy shall receive no mercy. Oh, absolutely I'm worthy. Oh, maybe not. Bolts of pure energy engulf Natalia. The inhumanely loud screams fill the strange space. When your eyes have readjusted to the dark, you see Natalia lying lifeless on the ground. Uh-oh. Minus 120 current health. A bright flash blinds you. When you can see again, you are standing beside the monolith once again. The humming has stopped. And confused, you leave this strange place. So she dead? Is that is that how this works? Uh, 
Yeah, I think she's dead. <laughs> oh, jeez. That's my medic as well. I suppose she wasn't bloody worthy after all. Um, and I could level her up as well. Oh, no! Alright, let's go to the next spot. Just the boys now. Boys road trip. I just, I thought I saw her just then. Oh, never mind. An excavation site. Using the surrounding rocks as cover, you make your way up to the enemy camp. A large unit of German soldiers have begin exca begun excavations here. They are uncovering a buried temple entrance. You debate whether to risk an attack. Open fire. No, no, continue on my journey. For sure. She had like a three next to her head just then. Oh, what was that about? Okay, close. Okay. Yeah, now she's got a two. Oh, she's ticking down. Maybe we can rest somehow? From afar, you can hear commands echoing in the desert air. You cautiously sneak forward and discover sandbags and machine gun nests. The soldiers are building a fortified camp here. No, I'm going to withdraw because we might be able to make it to this last spot in time. With this timer that she's got. You, so you see the fortified base of the excavation regiment southwest of the valley uh, plain ahead. You have finally reached your goal. As you were considering how to make it through the heavily guarded entrance, you suddenly spot a lone Wehrmacht jeep approaching your vehicle. Uh oh! You hide behind the rocks and wait for the patrol to disembark. Then you take them by surprise and tie them up. A short time later, you drive into the German camp wearing borrowed uniforms. The bored looking sentry waves your Wehrmacht jeep through with barely a glance. So far, so good. Oh my goodness, look at this, we're sneaking in. Disguised as German soldiers, you search the camp complex. Morton must be here somewhere. Your hearts race as you pass unnoticed through the crowds of enemy soldiers. You suddenly notice a small motorcade setting off. As it drives past, you spot Morton in one of the cars. You immediately jump into your captured jeep and tag onto the end of the convoy as it exits the camp and heads into the desert. Oh, wonderful. That was good timing. After a few miles, the convoy stops at a smaller auxiliary base. You see Morton being led away. You don't have much time. Your friend's execution is imminent. Suddenly, you hear a shout. You have been discovered. You look at each other with grim determination and load your weapons. This is it. Jesus, a big biff then, I guess. So, what's, what's up with unconscious Sheila? Um. <laughs> Let's put her there. I wonder if I can, like, pick her up or something. Because she's the only healer. Oh my god, there's so many dudes. What? Well, at least Morton's not getting bloody shot up right now. Woof, woof. Oh, look out, they're woofing. Play a turn. Oh no. The enemy moves after you place your characters. Only thing can you start your turn. I think she's dead. Oh no, that's not good at all. Well look, this is probably, I, I hate to end right on a climax. Oh, I think she dropped her equipment as well. Oh, brutal. Very rough. Well, I guess she wasn't worthy after all. Um, but this seems like the appropriate place to stop. I wonder if it will let me save mid-combat. I guess we're going to find out. What a cool game, hey? It's I love it when a game gets its theme right. The gameplay is pretty standard fare. You know, the, the turn-based stuff isn't going to blow anyone away. It's pretty simple. Um, and I sort of like the choose-your-own-adventure roguelikiness with the skills from the guys you pick. So, so far, so good. It's solid, and it's not earth-shattering or anything like that, so it's doing everything right. But when you take, you know, let's say serviceable as just a tick box, right? It's not good or bad or anything like that. Well, I guess it's good. But when you take everything being done right and then you slap 
perfect theme on it with music, art, just and the general direction. You you got something pretty good there anyway. You know what I mean? You can you can just have a serviceable game if you've got an awesome theme. And that's why I really dig this. It's a lot of fun. Uh, but we'll see how it keeps going because I'm curious how it plays out with the, the meta unlocks of characters, the other missions, um, you know, the skill trees and leveling up. We'll see. There might actually be some really interesting, unique gameplay stuff in here as well. Anyway, team, uh, let me know if you want to see more. Let me know if you've never heard of this and I'll put it on your radar because that's what makes my day. Uh, otherwise, we might just leave it there for the time being, and I will catch you guys on the next one.